Okay folks, today I've got quite a treat for you. This is a vintage Pioneer KP500 FM stereo super tuner radio. And this was the top dog to get back in the day. Um, late 70s, early 80s, I imagine, with the cassette player probably uh, early to mid 80s. Anyway, oh, sorry, had a ground out there. Anyway, this is a KP500. It was uh, its sister unit would be a TP900, which is the 8-track version. I have one of those listed in my other listings, so if you're looking for the 8-track, I've got you covered on that as well. Um, anyway, this is a beautiful example. You'll see more in the pictures, but uh, as far as the cosmetics of this thing, it is, it is great. Um, the brushed aluminum faceplate is in awesome shape. These are really fragile, so if they got moved around, there's some light scuffs and scratches around the edge. But if they get dropped on a corner or something, they get totally crunched and uh, and they don't look as good anymore. The lenses get cracked, the tape door gets heavy wear on it. This one doesn't have that. It's got some wear right here, but you can still, it still has the original super tuner cassette uh, door. I believe later ones came with something that didn't say super tuner, so that's cool. All of the printed lettering is intact. All of the knobs are intact. All of the buttons are the original pieces. Like everything is legit on this. It looks to wear its original paint and it's in good shape. There's a couple scratches, but nothing uh, to write home about, that's for sure. Um, I don't have the mounting bracket for it. It was mounted different, so uh, there is no mounting bracket. Um, they come up for sale from time to time, or frankly, uh, I mean, it's just a flat piece of metal with two bends in it. So if you're handy, I'm sure you could figure that out as well. Um, some people mount them on a console. These got mounted uh, every which way. So um, a lot of times you'll see them, they'll have holes drilled in the top or the bottom case for the mounting bracket to be attached. Not the case here. Just uh, a real nice original unit. So anyway, our goal to is today is to test this puppy. We have it hooked up to a 12 volt battery, um, a speaker, and an antenna. And we're simply going to test it. Um, I also have a cassette here, so we're going to test that puppy out because that's important. Um, there's a lot of features on here, so I'll walk you through them as we go. Um, clearly, you have your tuner, you have your volume, your balance, which is left and right. You got your bass, you got your center, and then minimum, maximum, same with treble. And then we've got these. So you, this is the stereo mono. So you have stereo on one side, mono on the other. Um, so you can switch back and forth between the two. Um, this clearly turns the radio on. <laughs> the loudness gives it some kind of boost of loudness. I guess it probably kicks up the wattage or something. And then the mute is the coolest feature, and I'll show you that once we're in there. But when the mute's turned on, you would think, at least I always did until I figured out otherwise, that the mute would just mute the sound, but that's not what it does. It mutes the static in between stations. So like if you're tuning, if you don't have a strong signal coming in, it doesn't play any sound until it does have a strong signal. And I'll show you that once we get to it. But uh, without further ado, let's uh, test this puppy out. So to turn the radio on, you simply take this rocker switch, turn it that way, piece of cake. You can see we're currently on stereo, so it's showing us that we're hooked into a, uh, a strong stereo signal. If we turn the stereo off, the stereo will go off. Pretty straightforward. Um, we'll start, this is our tuner here, so we'll start from the end of the dial, the, the low end. Okay, so I might as well show you this mute feature now. You see how we have a weak, a weak station coming in now and the stereo is jostling and all the things. If we click it to mute, oh, no, it, think, it thinks this is good enough. But anyway, in between stations, when we don't have anything, it goes totally quiet. If we turn the mute off, we would have static. So anyway, we turn it on that. We don't have to listen to the junk until we come to a station, which is pretty cool. Let me adjust our antenna a little bit here. Let's see, we just have our antenna is just a wire going into the back of the radio, so I think we're probably not making a good connection here. Okay. There we go. So you can see loud and clear. We're currently on the green channel. So I'm going to switch this over to the gray channel, which is the other channel on the radio, just to show you that they both work well. I'm 
I really don't like the mute function. I'm going to turn it off. You'll be able to see the stereo turn on and off, and we'll know when it's... ...to just sort of put that out into the, the, the Air One universe. And right now, Lauren, I kid you not. Lots of stations, guys. In the interest of time, I'm not going to stop at every station and tune it in. Uh, to ensure that our broadcasts continue. Uh, I'm going to have to sit back. I got some pancakes waiting for me for lunch. <laughs> Anyway, that's the end of the dial there. I don't know what happens when we... Yeah, nothing really sw happens when we switch over from mono to stereo, but it is what it is. Okay, let me... Let's say we like this. We'll, we'll test our... Uh, so volume, I don't want to turn it up for too loud too long, because it, it does get really loud. Balance. So this way, one way is going to go out, so we're on the right channel now. Then bass. Treble. And then uh, loudness. So you can see it just gets a little more boom to it. Okay. Now we're going to test out the cassette player. The only cassette I have left here is Andres Wolenweider, which is kind of an acoustic uh, hippie music. So uh, don't expect to hear a lot of lyrics or anything, but it is going to show us that it's working here. So we'll put Andreas into the slot here. You just push it in, you, if you know how cassette player works. And we should be going now. Okay, so hopefully you can hear Andreas doing his, uh, I don't know what kind, kind of guitar music, watery type music, I don't know. And then uh, I could show you that we can fast forward. Okay, and then re rewind. Hopefully you can hear that. Anyway, there's not much to this music. It's just like a kind of acoustic, uh, I don't even know. But I'll, I'll try to get past uh, this so you can hear some other sound. Okay, now I'll try to flip it, see if we got something else on the other side. So to flip it, you just press eject. Okay, and then now we're on the other side. Same type of music. It's just kind of elevator-y. Uh, imagine getting a massage somewhere and just relaxing. So unfortunately, didn't have any Rolling Stones or anything like that, but we got what we got. So the cassette player works. The eject function works. The AM works awesome on both channels. I mean, there's... The only thing that I could ask for more for this radio is it for to have for it to have the bracket. But, you know, we can't have everything. This is an absolutely beautiful KP500 radio. If you've been looking for one, don't look any further. It's it's gorgeous. It looks great. It works great. It's just a really nice original piece and uh, these are getting more rare by the day, guys. So, don't miss this one. All right, thanks.